Oh, hello. Welcome to Dad Show's Rooms. Today, we have a very lo lovely episode of Dad Show's Rooms. We're here inside the lovely Grayland Conference Center, a large mansion built in the 1920s and 30s, which represents many antique styles in design, architecture, and furniture. I was just here in the library, enjoying some light reading. Old court histories. <laughs> so interesting. Anyway, let's take a brief tour, shall we? As I said, we're here in the library. You might think, what strange furniture. It's because the original owners, Mr. and Miss Gray, pictured there, enjoyed tiny samples of furniture and antiques from all over the world. They took many travels because they were so, so wealthy. <laughs> you can see some really fine pieces that Miss Gray collected from all over the world. Collected, bought, stole, <laughs> whatever. But aren't they glorious? These wooden panels were gotten from the Middle East in the 1920s and 30s. Let's continue with our tour by walking out into the lobby. Any good mansion needs a suit of armor for security. There's a fake fireplace for making fake fires. Ah, there's some random old rich person. I was told, actually, that this table is 300 years old. And I sat on it. <laughs> Don't tell. Here we are in one of the many fine sitting rooms. Couches and china. Lovely decor from the Gray family 80, 90 years ago. Piano for entertainment. Let's look outside. Here you can see some of the yard and the garden. Spiral staircases. Oh, and here we are in the sunroom. A lovely bright room with big windows, lots of sunlight to play fun games that rich people love, like backgammon. Who knows how to play backgammon? I sure don't. Is it even a real game? Who knows? Who cares? They're rich. Lovely fountain right here. And if you walk this way, You'll see the original indoor pool area. So 80 years ago, this was filled with water as their indoor pool. It's not used as a pool now, only, I say, either a huge dance floor or a human-sized checker game. Either one's fine. Let's go check out the spiral staircase. It goes up and up, and it goes down and down. Let's go down into the depths. Feels like we're in the basement of Hogwarts. There's the lounge area. Let's go through here. Let's run down the hall. Here's the game room. Pool table, which I played very badly last night. Even darts. Here we are at the top of the winding staircase. Oh, that's for the gremlins to use to shoot the lady out the window. Let's go through here. Here we have more regular rooms down that way and down that way. Lovely room for sitting right here. Let's see if we can go outside. Gorgeous, big property they have here. Here we are at the very tip top. All right, let's go back inside. So I'm going down the second floor hallway now. There are more rooms here, normal rooms. Let's 
see if we can find a special room. Let's see. Another nice staircase. Oh, we want the ice cream room. That's what we want. All right, let's keep going down here. It's a bird cage for rich birds. Hello. Hello. Oh, no ice cream? I didn't see any. Oh, shucks. Bummer. Oh, well. We'll come back later. No ice cream. What? Oh, my goodness. This is a, you can see the butler's pantry. All right, let's go to the top of these stairs. Whoa. I think this is definitely Hogwarts. joining me again on another episode of Dad Shows Rooms. I'm just going to catch up on some reading of American Law Reports Annotated. Well, I tell you, I just cannot put these down. These are page turners, I'll tell you what. Well, hope you guys are having a good day. Hey, I think you should come and stay here sometime. You'd really like it. It's nice having a few butlers. I can get used to it. All right, guys, well, I'll see you later. Have fun.